highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For His mercy and your rep forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For His mercy and your rep forever. Amen. For His mercy. And your rest forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the fifth day of the fifth month, the year 2024. We thank you because you are the God of mercy. We thank you because you are the God of all grace. But thank you because of the word that said, Great is thy mercy, O God. Father, we thank you. Be magnified in Jesus' name. Our Lord, on this fifth day of May, the fifth month, Sunday, I ask that God's mercy and grace speak for somebody expressly. In the name of Jesus. In all your endeavors today, may you experience and enjoy God's mercy and grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, great God. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Uh, God bless you. Be good in Jesus. It's the fifth day of the fifth month, Sunday, 2024. Now, we are looking, still looking at the topic, why people suffer from financial bondage. This part three, why people suffer from financial bondage. Hmm. Why? Do people suffer from financial bondage? Let's go into the word of God because it's a major problem. It's a major problem. A lot of people are really suffering financially. A lot of people are really struggling financially. And sometimes some people ask themselves, I'm not a lazy person. I'm working try my possible best but it's like things are not just adding up so why people suffer from financial bondage a threat Luke chapter 4 verse 16 to 21 that's our anchor scripture for today Luke chapter 4 verse 16 to 21 I read and it came to and he came talking about Jesus he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read verse 17 and there were and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the law. Verse 20. And he closed the book. 
And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your life. There are many reasons why people suffer financial bondage. And, and I would like to share some with us today by the grace of God. In fact, when you look at our uh, mountain top booklet for today, you will see a lot of reasons there. And according to this book, in continuation with what we have yesterday, one another reason why people suffer from financial bondage is what we call altars that have been erected. That are altar, inherited altar of poverty that some of us have been inherited by the virtue of our, our foundation, by the virtue of our compound, by the virtue of our environment. There are altars that eat prosperity. And when you find yourself in, in an environment where or in, you are living in a house, where there is an altar of poverty in that house, you can never succeed in the place. I've asked stories of people that move into a particular house with four cars, wives, children, everything going on well, good job. And after some time, the man began to lose his property one after the other. And when he noticed that, I think, Somebody just told him that, okay, what is wrong with you? First car gone, second car gone, third car gone. Started selling his property. And that, that's when he realized that something is wrong. And he began to pray. Began to address in the altars in that house, in that environment that is swallowing prosperity. So altars, Environmental altars, altars of poverty erected in an environment could bring someone under financial bondage. Another thing that could lead to financial bondage is uh, habitual sin. Habitual sin. Habitual sin. When you have money and you keep you get yourself involved in terrible sin and all that, it could lead to financial bondage. Another thing that can lead to financial bondage is when you, you are reckless in your spending. When you are reckless in spending, it could lead to uh, financial bondage. When you are wasteful, it could lead to financial bondage. When you lack mercy, it could lead to financial bondage. When you lack mercy, it could lead to uh, financial bondage. Also, territorial uh, demotion, you know, that some territory that once your business enters into that area, that business must go down because of territorial powers. So territorial power can sponsor demotion. So they can demote a business, they can demote a company. So territorial power could cause a financial bondage also. Let's go on a short break and I'll be right back. God bless you. This month of May, the drones are still in the air, 
striking every conspiracy against you with the seven ballistic agenda to the line our destinies one crush every hidden satanic agreement on your family two dismantle the hidden platform prepared for you by your ancestors three disgrace unfinished family battles four recover no unknown stolen possession five deal decisively with cryptic demons six Receive power to arise and shine. Seven. Receive the anointing of divine acceleration. It's the May edition of Power Must Change Hands. Theme Deep Deliverance Part 2. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. 4th of May, 2024, 0700 WAT. Don't miss this program that will crush every stronghold from the debt. The May edition of PMCH Deep Deliverance Part 2. This program will be made available in all our social media platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixlear. Don't forget MFM Television on IS20. Come fast and believe in God for an uninterrupted divine intercession. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back, great people of God. God bless you. Still talking about why people suffer from financial bondage. Uh, another reason why people suffer financial bondage is um, stinginess. Stinginess. When you see a man that is very stingy, uh, that's a particular people, they call them akagom. People are very stingy. Nothing goes out from their hand. It's like they, there's a gum, there's a glue in their hand. So whatever that enter that hand, you no, know, they go out. Doesn't go out. Permit me to speak that uh, broken. So they call them akagom. It's very stingy. Uh, people like that that are very stingy, it will be very difficult for them to succeed in life. Now, you know, sometimes people ask, you are saying I should be a giver. Me that don't have. But uh, no, no. Everything is not money. And what I used to tell people is that if you have one Naira, let's assume you have a 1,000 Naira or even 100 Naira and you find it difficult to share or to at least allow somebody to benefit like 1,000 or 100 Naira from your 1,000, by the time God will bless you and you have 10 million, you will, not, you will find it difficult to share with people. Why? Because giving is a spirit. It's a lifestyle. And I used to tell people, I said, the best time to give is when you look as if you don't have. If you have that principle, you will help. You will always learn to give. Sometimes you need something. And God is saying, give. If you are listening to your flesh, you will not be. So if you are a very stingy person, you will always experience uh, financial bondage. Another thing that makes people to suffer financial bondage is when you are too selfish. You are too safe. Everything you want it for yourself. Everything. It is you, you, and you, and you. People like that, they can't last. Selfishness leads to financial bondage. Another thing that can lead to financial bondage or that make people to suffer financial bondage uh, is laziness. When you are too lazy, like they are saying, there is no food 
for lazy people. Maybe I should say this. Do you know that a lot of people pray? A lot of people stay and sleep inside church. Yeah? But they are too lazy to work. Let me tell you, faith without work will lead to death. It's good to pray, it's good to fast, but you must work. Some are mental, they have what we call mental laziness. Mentally, they are lazy. They are lazy, but they want food. So laziness will always lead to financial bondage. When you are too lazy to think, when you are too lazy to reason, when you are too lazy to walk with your hand. You know the, the same Bible that we are reading that says, uh, that man, uh, the, 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 the lazy man, he sat in the house. He said that uh, there is rain outside, there is leopard. That is because of that, it's not ready to go. You will die of hunger if you are too lazy. You can fast, good, but please walk. Don't be lazy. And whatever your aunt find doing, do it well. Can I say this to you? What you have now, presently, and you are not taking it serious. You are careless, you are lazy about it. Can I tell you? It is somebody's prayer request. And the same Bible confirmed to us that if you are lazy, test, you, you will suffer. So what you have presently now that God has given to you, hold tight to you and do the needful. Laziness leads to financial bondage. Uh, another thing that can lead to financial bondage is lack of understanding. Lack of understanding, ignorance can lead to financial bondage. Lack of understanding in the sense that, okay, for example, you are in a business or you want to invest. You want to invest and you lack knowledge, you lack information about that terrain, you will enter into problem. You will invest wrongly. Because there are people that have been to that line, you should ask first before uh, invest in it. So you need information, you need knowledge. Why? Because the knowledge that you fail to get now, and you are now investing in something that you lack understanding about, will lead to serious problem and can give you heart attack. Yes. So knowledge, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding can lead to financial bondage. Yes. Another thing that can lead to financial bondage is um, receiving strange money. Strange money. When, he, when you receive a strange money, it can lead to financial bondage. Direct attack from Satan. Probably you had a dream and you saw that something happened to your business or whatever in the dream. That could be a direct attack in the dream that can lead to financial bondage. Maybe I should pray again for somebody consequences of evil dream, consequences of negative dream, consequences of evil dream, consequences of negative dream over your finances, over your business, is hereby cancelled now. In the name of Jesus, is hereby cancelled now. In the name of Jesus, is hereby cancelled now. In the name of Jesus, Thus said the Lord God, that evil dream will not stand. It will not come to pass. 
in the name of Jesus, that evil dream will not stand, will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, that evil dream will not stand, it will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, that evil dream will not stand, will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, another thing that can lead to financial bondage is it is when you get yourself involved in cheating. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you and welcome back. It is where we are so in Jesus' name. Still looking at why people suffer financially. Why people suffer financially. You know, I've mentioned a lot of points, talking about when you are stingy, when you are wasteful, when you are a lazy type, when you are selfish, when you are, you know, you, you are wasteful, things like that. It leads, and I talk about demonic attack and all that. These are serious things that are, leads to financial bonding when you lack understanding you know and when you lack information when you lack cancer it can lead to a financial bondage and also spoke about demonic attack you know demonic attack also we talk about receiving strange money you know territorial attack and all that when you are selfish it can lead to financial bondage uh, let me pray for somebody who's listening to me again that every attack of the enemy on your source of income satanic attack on that source of your income by the blood of Jesus that attack is cancelled in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I cancel that attack. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I cancel that attack. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, that attack is canceled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, when you are involved, there is somebody listening to me now. One of the reasons why your finances have been under attack, yes, one of the reasons why your finances have been under attack is because of a particular dream that you had. And in that dream, what happened was that uh, somebody collected money from your hand in the dream and you are saying give it back to me give it back to me give it back to me and 
till you woke up, the person did not give it back to you. I stand in the name of the Lord God of hosts. And by the covenant that I stand with the Mountain of Prayer American Ministry, what they took from you in the dream, let the mercy of God collect it back from you now. In the name of Jesus, what they took from you in the dream, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is done. Why people suffer financial bondage? When you don't put God first in all you do, of course you will suffer financial bondage. It is my prayer that if the enemy has swallowed your money, they will vomit it in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are not paying your tithes, it could lead to financial bondage. Mm, it could lead to financial bondage. Please take note of that. When you don't help the poor, because the Bible says in the book of Psalm that anybody who take care of the poor, God will take care of him. We have less privileged around you, people that you can assist in one kind or the other, and you are not doing so. It could also lead to financial body, particularly when God is asking you to do it and you refuse to do it. It could lead to financial bondage. Please, I want to say to everybody, learn to give, learn to share, learn to encourage. Let your life bring joy to somebody. If I make a decision that on a daily basis, I will put a smile to people's face, no matter how small. Let it be part of your daily plan to make people happy, no matter how small. And I bet you, you will always be happy. And the Lord will make you happy in Jesus' name. Say, Father, make me a kingdom builder. In the name of Jesus, Lord, make me a kingdom builder for you. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, make me a kingdom builder for you. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, make me a kingdom builder for you. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, make me a kingdom builder for you. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, make me a kingdom builder for you. In the name of Jesus, as Master you have declared, it is so. In the name of God the Father, name of God the Son and the Holy Ghost, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.